Hey, it's Lauren from Radio World. I've got the FLIR 1 Pro for Android plugged into my phone. I've also got a really cold nose. So when you get the FLIR 1 Pro out of the box, you get this case, got a lanyard attachment here, and it is hard to protect the uh, FLIR 1 Pro device. Inside you've got storage for your USB cable, which is a type A to type C connector, and then you have your storage down here with a very tight fitting foam for the FLIR 1 Pro. So when you get the device out of the case, this is what we have here. We've got a thermal sensor and traditional camera on the front of it. You can view them at the same time or independently, however you choose to do that. We've got a USB-C connector here, which is adjustable up to four millimeters. So if you do have a case on your phone, you're able to adjust that so your phone will still sit flush down here. There's an internal battery on this, so it won't use your phone's battery. You get about 45 minutes of life out of it. On the bottom of it, we've got our on-off switch with an LED indicator. We've got our USB-C port here to charge the device, and then a charge light indicator as well. So the beauty about a USB-C connector is it is reversible. So we can plug it into our phone this way if we want to take a photo this way and view on the screen like a selfie style, or you can also reverse it and it'll plug in this way to take a picture of what's ahead of you. That was one of the downsides to the micro USB connector of the FLIR 1. Um, that's one of the upgrades to the FLIR 1 Pro. So now that it's in our phone, what we can do is just adjust it here, bring it down a little bit so our phone sits flush, but not enough that the connector comes out. So once you get your FLIR 1 Pro plugged in, what you need to do is just download the app. I've already done that. So you go to Google Play or your um, Apple iStore. What do they call it? iTunes? So here we have the FLIR 1 app. I'm going to open that up. And then it's just telling you to plug in the device. This device I haven't powered on yet. So we'll just go down to the bottom, hit the power switch. OK, and then once you turn it on, you'll get this message here. So you can check these off and then it'll automatically allow the uh, FLIR 1 access to your USB port and you won't have to go in and open the, the app every time you turn it on. So now we've got our thermal imaging display, just some basic uh, info on the app here. You've got some settings over there. We can go to photo, video, or time lapse, and then you have your main menu here. You will have to log in in order to use this, so you will have to create an account. So now let's take a look at some of the video quality that we can get on the FLIR 1 Pro. So to shoot a video, just hit the start record button here you get a elapsed time up there so you know what's going so one use for these FLIR ones is just to check what your electrical panel is doing if you have any um, problems there any circuits that are really hot check the wiring as well that's quite a bit warmer up there another great use for these FLIR 1 Pros is checking around doors for any heat loss you can use this around windows any areas you might be experiencing heat loss in your home, and then this will allow you to seal those up properly and um, reduce heating costs. So with your camera plugged into the bottom, one thing I've found is it's, it's not as comfortable to use in this manner. We're all used to having our cameras up at the top of our phones. So what I've always liked to do with these is just flip them upside down. Now our, our camera's up at the top, the screen auto rotates, the app does support that, and it's just much easier to use when you're in this format. So that's the FLIR 1 Pro for an Android with a USB-C connector. Take a look at it on RadioWorld.ca. Come into the store if you're in Toronto or our Calgary location. And for more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like the videos as well. Good enough, you got enough there.